aka Ann Loam, and welcome to my studio. Today we are going to do a project for hashtag trash to treasure 2017. The CAC is having an art festival this month uh, from Wednesday the 19th to Sunday the 23rd. I am behind schedule, so this is going to be quick. <laughs> I'm so busy right now, but that's okay. So years and years ago, I used to sell uh, jockey clothing at home shows. And I used to use this as a ballot box. And of course, jockey doesn't even exist anymore. Um, and I need to reuse this. This is, as you can see, one of these tissue boxes. So what I'm going to do is take this tag off and remove the old label from years ago. I don't even live in that city anymore. I'm gonna remove the label from the bottom. Now I have done this with plastic. I don't know if this is gonna work with wood. Don't do what I do. But when I have labels on plastic, I use uh, lighter fluid and you put it on. And what it does is it dissolves the adhesive put that on take a little scrapey thing oh yes it works wonderful there so you don't have to fight Ooh. you don't have to fight with labels see how it would normally tear that's no good to me it drives me nuts now the only thing is is on plastic the lighter fluid just wipes off on wood it probably absorbs a little bit so you're going to want to let it just air out for a minute so that all of the volatile agents evaporate. But look at that. No more label, no more stickiness. Love it. My husband uses that. Um, he's the one that taught me that. To take labels off the laptops that he's refurbishing. Just going to use this to get underneath the tape. There we go. Rip this off. And then we're going to repurpose this back to its original purpose as a tissue box holder. Okay, so I got all the tape off. I'm going to put down my drip pans and I'm going to seal the hole in the bottom because I don't want it to drip on the inside. Okay, so there we are. This is protected. We're going to do a pour. Now, I recommend that you either seal or gesso and sand this first. I have run out of time. I'm not going to do that. I know that the wood is going to absorb a little bit of the paint. I'm willing to live with that. <laughs> and then we'll pour the bottom. I just want to get this poured and set aside. I have grabbed all of my neutral colors, so my browns, my beiges, and my caramels, and I'm going to randomly pour on here and let it drip over the edge. That's my plan. And as you know, sometimes my plans don't go as well as they could. <laughs> but we're going to give it a shot. There we go. That's stable now. Yes. Okay. So normally on a canvas, I um, pour paint and then scrape it. I think I'm just gonna do a little bit, like I can't do the sides, so we'll just, I'm using the paint that I have the most of. I'm just, so I'm just gonna kind of create a little bit of a lubrication layer with this, just so that it has, the colors have something to move on. Last year during Trash to Treasure, I did a tiling job with molding paste. Um, you can see that video right there. 
So I did a totally different look and it was with one of these exact same boxes and that item is in my bathroom and I love it. It's fantastic. Okay, so we have a little bit of a lubrication layer. The objective for this is to just get some massive amounts of drippage on this to cover the entire box. This will be cool. Okay. All right, let's start tilting and see what happens. I've never done a 3D object before. This will be, this will be cool. If we can get that to move around. Okay, that's super cool. That is super cool. I don't know if you can see the, see the edges. Isn't that cool? I need more paint in the front. Okay, that's cool. I really like that. I might, I think I'm going to do, kind of looks, uh, I think when I tilt this one, I'm going to put the board under, like the bottom board underneath. Not only does it save paint, but I think it's going to look really cool. And some gold. There we go. All right. I'm going to lift this with one hand. Put the board underneath and tilt away. It's kind of cool that that reservoir in the middle holds paint for a while and then it goes. All right, so. Okay, that side is done. That side's mostly done. This side needs definitely some more paint. Let's see if we can get it to drip out of that reservoir down the side. Let's take a peek here. Oh, this side is pretty much done. This side needs some help. This side's pretty much done. That side's done. All right, I'm gonna hold it with one hand and add Add some stripies with the other hand. <laughs> this is a very messy process. I really like the way it's turning out though. I hope it dries really cool. I like this. This turned into a real time tutorial too. I had no intention of that, but it's kind of cool that we get to spend some time together. You get to see how my brain works. Like that. Like that. And a little bit of this. And finally, a little bit of gold. Just for Blitz Sparkle. Okay. So we need to tilt this kind of forward to get the front and a little bit on the side. So let's see if we can do that. I want to kind of tilt at the angle. I want to keep those stripes. I really like them. I think they're cool. All right, it's dripping on the side. So we're just going to encourage it to drip everywhere. There we go. Just 
guide the paint. Give it a shake. There's still some paint in that reservoir there too. But I like the stripes. I don't want to destroy the stripes by tilting it a different way. So the only spot that's missing is right here. So I'm just going to tilt it just a little bit this way. Just a little bit. This is where we cheat. We pick up some from here and we just la 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 just kind of gently help it along. Alright, that is super cool. I love that. Now I need to move this somewhere. <laughs> like I mean look at that. That is awesome. I've decided that this is going to be a giveaway prize in my fluid acrylic painting community. Um, we're coming up to 4,000 members sometime in the next month or so, so I think this is going to be a giveaway. I love it. I love it. I'm going to steal one of these. Okay, and with this, my objective here is just to get some paint on it. So how about we pour the paint from here and the paint from here. No one's going to see this, so it doesn't have to be stripey at the bottom. It just has to be covered with paint. Look at that. That is freaking cool too. Keep repouring. The wood did not absorb as much paint as I thought it would, so it actually will turn out pretty good. And then of course once this dries, it will plasticize and completely seal it. And that's the edge that shows. So I'm going to actually grab this by the grab this by the side and dip it into the paint so I get a nice good coverage on the end. Look at that. That looks cool. All right, all we need to do now is get the last of the wood here and do a little tilty twirl. Last of the paint here. I use so much paint. I need to save whenever I can. <sighs> there we go. We're just gonna gently encourage that to fill in the holes. And then I'm gonna pour it. Look at that. That is super cool. So the only thing you have to be careful of, and it's not that bad because this is a fairly uh, cheap wood, is once this completely dries, I have to take a little knife and notch in again, both here and on the side of the box so it can slide in and out. But that is really cool. Let's see if I can just get that to just drip this way a little bit. All right, that is fantastic. I'm gonna take this over here to dry. So that is my project today. As soon as that dries, I will take some pictures and put them at the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this project. And if you wanna learn how to make my paints, I have a video right here. It's really easy, it's water and acrylic paints. 
It's kid friendly, non-toxic. I don't use mediums in my day-to-day -day paints. I do experiments with mediums, but my day-to-day -day paints, it's just water and acrylic paint. It cleans up with soap and water. It is fantastic. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Thanks for coming along with me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.